Nowadays, many artists of our generation are doing a research which is much related with the images and how images affect our everyday life and how uh, they are part of any kind of our gesture. And Mohammed Amoud, uh, with his pocket painting, is just making a reflection from how to convert a concept that is in our mind into um, something that is physically represented, so related to the object and the images. Uh, this pocket painting is a, is a singular encounter in between uh, uh, simple elements that usually are part of the painting itself, so the stone, uh, something that you can draw with, and the canvas, but uh, not as pure as it is, but with these pockets that are the kind of uh, objects or uh, the space where the canvas can contain some uh, ideas, and then the color. The color is always flat and monochrome and different, so as the stones and as the fiction and objects that take uh, origins along the canvas. Question. The object become the images or vice versa. This is the issue that Gabriele de Santis tells in, uh, in his words. We have this uh, marble painting uh, which is made by the artist uh, taking a surface of marble and painted on top of it. And it deals with the idea that we are, um, every time that we look uh, to something, doesn't matter if image or a real object, we have a kind of background that comes from our tradition, from the history of art, from our everyday life. So we can be uh, treated by the image of what we're looking for. So in this case, to see in the artwork in real, it reveals its natural. But if you just see it from an image, like in the internet, you will stay in doubt if it's all painting, if it's some of that is painting and some of that is original material. So looking into something and try to um, follow all the running and running time that we have nowadays, it's really difficult and we have to take care a lot to uh, when we look at an image, if the image is treating us or is revealing us some truth. Ruta Menutite is our column by Gabriele De Santis and again uh, the artists want to uh, make us think on uh, what we carry on from the past, what is part of our culture and how this poor contemporary art have in a way uh, to take with her the heavy, heavy uh, weight of the ancient history of art, but in a way he needs it needs to be to become faster and faster, and so he designed this story column devoted to an Olympic uh, swimmer, so to someone that uh, in a way looks like superhuman, and uh, he put the wheels to help the history of art or help uh, all of us that are part of this contemporary art world to run across time and try to follow in the next uh, trends. What if we have a million dollar in penny value, just one uh, pence each? Uh, I tell you how he made it to make you understand why he made it. Uh, this is a, a penny painting by Nick Darmstadter. He is a very young artist from the United States. And here he realized this kind of serigraphy, uh, treating with one girl solution uh, uh, small pennies and kind of printing the pen surface on canvas. He realized as many as to paint or to print a million dollars. So it's a, a very uh, interesting uh, reflection on American culture, on how much uh, the freedom in the United States gives you the chance to start from one penny and raise up to one million in any kind of business or life that you are doing, but he also deals a lot with the tradition of contemporary art history. So to um, artists like Andy Warhol that uses the serigraphy and the print and the edition of works in series uh, to realize, to make the art become popular. So interesting guy to look at.
exaltation of American culture through a static choice that reveals a new set of stereotypes. This is what Nick Dumpstetter is doing in this kind of magnet paintings, uh, where he actually uh, demonstrates how art rules related to the painting and to what you hang on the wall, or you basically just hang, can change in our day life. This painting is named San Gennaro, and it is uh, much related with the San Gennaro festival that happens uh, every year. And um, he basically realized something that is very common in the uh, United States to have these magnets on the fridge. And here he uh, created and he found magnets that it seems uh, very kind of kitsch and just roughly collected together, but actually they uh, recreate the ambient and the elements that are part of this uh, ceremony of the San Gennaro together with some other objects or like Playboy or Coca-Cola brands that are typical and very well connected to the pop American style. What if digitalization affects not only images and objects but also politics, social life and people? This is what Simon Denny is investigating along the last years and his investigation starts from this uh, collection of video. Uh, the title is All You Need Is Nata and it's taken from the DLD conference that take place in Berlin in 2012. Uh, Simon pick up some of the uh, really not important moment or topic speech of the conference, but he filmed some of the most important investors uh, and the start that were invited to talk about our future and how banks and economies and politics and life is changing and how, in a way, people can uh, predict or take care of our future in a good and in a bad way through all the data that we are collecting from our everyday interaction through the network, uh, internet or real life. A true evolution in terms of developing new forms of moving image is the work by Ian Cheng. CEO and Xiong is a live simulation starring an ecosystem, so it is not a video. It's basically a series of objects that are acting and interacting following an algorithm that uh, has, uh, has been launched in the very beginning. So whenever you play these uh, live simulations, uh, all the ecosystem interact in a very different way. And this different way the objects interact uh, in between themselves produce uh, uh, different uh, images and different colors and surrounding. Nowadays, in uh, our everyday life, uh, we spend most of our time in front of computers. And what we see in computers is basically flat uh, two-dimensional images. This is very much related to contemporary life and uh, also with the idea and the manipulation that we are keeping doing on images, editing images, editing colors and taking actually the real object out of is uh, real and natural environment. So Damon Tasnarkevich is asking to us but what happens then if you take a sound just off his natural environment? And so he created a tango uh, of a long film, which is this installation, which is made by a sound system from the cinema in the 60s uh, from the USSR period. And he created a special machine that converts digital sound into a tape recorded sound and he invites everyone to come here and take from uh, uh, Spotify any kind of music and play it and listen it out of the digital perfect sound and back to this uh, historical kind of uh, uh, sounding machine. So of course while we are filming through a digital machine back again, uh, you will probably lose a part of uh, of the, of the entire uh, sounds, but you are more than welcome to come here and play all your 